Hello, Kelly for Kelly's Collectibles as always. And continuing with Predator Month, today we are going to take a look at my collection of uh, the Alien vs Predator comics. Now, I don't have all of the Alien vs Predator comics. Um, I just have like uh, the collected editions, like the omnibuses and things like that. Um, I do have, though, which we're going to take a look out look at first, is my original run of Alien vs Predator by Dark Horse Comics from 1990. This is issue zero. And then we have issues one. Two. Three. And four. Now, um, I do believe these came out in order of issues one to four, and then zero came out uh, later. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but in issue zero, it basically takes the first few pages of issue one. I will do a little comparison. Um, and tells the story... Of how the aliens ended up on the planet. More from the predator side of things. But I'll quickly show you what I mean. These are very difficult to get out. I'm just trying to see if there's a date on this. You see look 1990. That's when this was promoting this comic book. This issue I do believe. Yes, see, there we go. July, I don't know how that's going to come across. July 1990, this was first made. Mike Mingola was the cover artist. It's interesting to know. Those of you who are um, Hellboy fans will obviously know Mike Mingola from Hellboy. So this artwork is actually done by him. I did not know that. I've never checked that. Apparently the writer for this story is Randy Stradling, penciler is Phil Narwood, Carl Story is the inker, Pat Brasosi is the letterer, Mike Mingola, cover artist, and Diana Schutz, reprint editor. So this one is a reprint, but it's still from 1990, so, but as you can see, it's all in black and white, this one. And it literally tells the same story from the beginning of issue one, which I will quickly take a look at in a minute. Um, I will look at it in the Omnibus edition, because I don't like getting these out of their, uh, their little sleeves, because, you know, of how old they are. But as you can see, it literally just tells the same story with... It's more expanded, it's more from the Predator side of things, how they... Pick the planet. Some very good artwork, I will say, for predators in this. Shows more of their what their society is like, how they prepare for a hunt and things like that. Which, if you're a big predator fangirl, like I am, then uh, <laughs> you will definitely find this an interesting one. It's not necessary to have this as part of the collection. If you've got issues one to four... You've got the whole story. This is more sort of like a... It's not a prologue, it's an epilogue. It's more like a little epilogue to the events of the first story. So it's a good addition to have, but it's not a necessity. Just get this back in its sleeve. Bear with me a moment. I always hate getting comics back in sleeves. There we go. But uh, this story, the, the first... Alien vs Predator story was actually covered very well um, in the Omnibus. Now, the Omnibus contains, I think it's... How many, how many stories is it? Yeah, it's Alien vs Predator, which is issues 1 to 4. That's the first 155 pages. From page 5 to 155. The first, first 150 pages is the first AVP story. Then you've got Blood Time, Duel, War, Eternal, Old Secrets... And the web, and that takes you up to page 435. So, 
quite a nice thick book. The artwork on it is very well done. There's a little uh, read up of the back. I'm going to pause it and take a quick read of that. Um, but as I said, yeah, issue zero, literally, it's just this part retold, but with more emphasis on what the Predators are doing in the background. So, but yeah, this covers the whole first AVP story, which if you don't know the story of the um, original AVP um, comic, it's set in the future. It's set on a planet called Ryushi. Um, there's a uh, cattle herding colony on the planet set up by the Chinguska Corporation. Um, that is headed by, well, the, the, they, they're just doing a, a changeover between the CEOs that are working there. Um, one guy is called um, Hirokoi, I think. And um, the female employee who's taking over from him, who is the main focus of the story, is a character called uh, Machinko Noguchi. Um, I have a figure of her. She's fantastic, produced by NECA. Um, she is kind of where, if you've seen the AVP movie, it's where they kind of got the inspiration for the Lex character from. Basically, the aliens are on the planet, sent up by the Predators to hunt. They didn't know humans were there. Inadvertently, the humans crossed paths with the aliens. Uh, there's a queen secretly there. A uh, hive breaks out, attacks the humans. The Predators attack the humans because they think the humans are attacking them. And then eventually, um, Machika Noguchi teams up with a Predator called the Shande. And uh, I have a figure of him as well. He's amazing. And um, they team up to fight the aliens. And he marks her with his clan symbol. And when the Predators show up to find out why the hunting party didn't return. Because all of them get wiped out. Um, she stays behind. And when they arrive, she goes with them. Um, I think that does continue in this story. I'm trying to remember now. Yes, see, there she is, there's the character, living amongst the Predators. So yes, very interesting character. Um, there are a lot more Alien vs Predator stories that start her as the main focus. Um, unfortunately, I don't have those, I don't have read those as of yet, but with buying things like these omnibuses, I'm slowly catching up with it. What? 30 years later? <laughs> Better late than never, huh? Um, so yeah, that's my originals there. Like I said, that whole story is covered in Omnibus Volume 1 with a few other interesting stories. Then there is the Alien vs Predator Omnibus Volume 2. I have already taken a look at this on my Facebook group. Um, but I will quickly go over it again. Basically, the main gist of the story is um, the Deadliest of the Species storyline. It takes all of that story plus all together for you. And that covers a staggering, wait for it, 300 pages of a comic book. But it is an interesting read. There are some bits that kind of make you go, hmm? But on the whole, it's, it's a good read. Now down to the one that I am still yet to read is Predator Omnibus Volume 3. I was given this as a gift by my ex-partner. Um, I think I can't remember whether it was Christmas or birthday, but it was a present, so either way, I like it. Um, I've not yet read this one, because I'm more, I like Predators when there's an enemy of equal footing, and that's why I like Alien vs Predator. But, this is just Predator stories on their own, but it does feature the story that contains the Bad Blood Predator. Which any of you out there who are action figure collectors will know what I'm talking about. It's this guy. Right here. This guy. That's the Bad Blood Predator. A Bad Blood Predator is basically a predator who, does have no, who has no honour whatsoever. He kills for the sheer fun of it. Not for the hunt, not for the sport. Just because he can. Because he wants to. So... Um, it's one of the first sort of storylines that, uh, that really kind of sort of 
start se started setting up the idea that predators have their own laws and religion and things like that. I mean, before the, the tribalistic hunt thing, you could just say it was a more animalistic thing, you know, going out on a hunt. But as the comic books have shown and the films have tried to do, but not so much, not to a great extent, but the comic books definitely dive more into the predators as a species, as um, a culture, uh, the reasons why they hunt, uh, they have deities, all this kind of thing, which all links back to these comic books uh, and some of the novels. I actually have a novelization of a graphic novel. Um, that is also a very interesting read because when it swaps over and it tells the story from the Predator's point of view, there is actually like points of language in there. Um, you hear like the Predator's thoughts and it's quite, it almost becomes like a buddy movie towards the end when the Predator and the, the human and the Predator have teamed up and she says something and then he thinks practically the same thing as what she just said. So it's like, it almost becomes this almost buddy cop kind of comedy routine towards the end but it works in favor of the story because it's like how do these characters who have a language barrier bond and they bond through their actions and it's put it, it it comes across quite well in the not in the graphic novel but it comes across even better in the novelization so that is highly a, a very highly recommended read if you've not read it i managed to find a copy of it for one penny on amazon <laughs> Um, I only had to pay like one one pound something odd for the shipping, so in fact it cost me like nearly two quid. So I was like, I don't care. <laughs> it's predator reading material. Of course I'm going to read it. I'm a I look. I mean, I have it tattooed on my chest. I am a predator fangirl. I love everything about predator. So, but um, yes, some highly uh, recommended reads here. Um, if you're a comic book fan in general, they are worth a read. If you are a comic book and predator fan definitely pick these up they are worth it if you can find this collection for a decent price because although they are old they don't go for too much money i think the most i spent on any issue was issue number three and i think i spent about seven pounds on that one the rest of them i picked up for less than a fiver so definitely get on ebay have a look around and these were shipped to me as is, you know, the, as you can see, they are all damn near mint condition. They're carded and they're covered. So excellent, excellent thing to go and track down and pick up if you're a, a fan. Anyway, I have been Cali for Cali's Collectibles Review. This has been the continuation of Predator Month and I have taken a look at the comic books. Um, on Friday's review, I will be taking a look at a, another Predator action figure. Um, not sure which one at this, time, at, this, at this present point in time because I have quite a few to choose from. But thank you for watching. Remember, if you like the kind of thing I'm doing, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You take care and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.